again, Bill Dendel with you, the director of the Tea Garden Jazz Camp, which I hope we will have next summer. We'll keep you all informed. Anyway, back with some more beginning improvisation ideas. Uh, in, earlier in this series, we talked about starting by using the melody notes, uh, varying or embellishing the melody, or just rearranging the notes that are in the melody. We talked about using the chord tones, uh, along with lower neighbors, going down a half step and then back up, or starting a half step below and moving up two chord tones. We talked about making phrases using those notes that sound good with the chords and repeating them the way melodies do. Uh, we also talked about building a solo uh, based on rhythm structures. If you come up with a good sounding rhythm, uh, it can be really catchy. There are famous songs that, that are really based on rhythm uh, figures. Uh, we also talked about borrowing the melody or a bit of melody from another song. If you know a song that's in a certain key and it has the same chord structure as another song you're playing, you can take any of the phrases from one song, transplant them to the other. So we've tried that also. And then we got to the Holy Grail, the pentatonic scale. Five note scale, one, two, three, five, and six of the major scale. Uh, and that's the scale of the chord that you're playing, not the key of the song you're in. So if you're playing, we're gonna, we're do, we'll keep working with when the saints come marching in, in the key of F. When it changes to the C7 chord, which is the second chord in the song, you're then using the 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and flat 7 of the C scale. That's the way I look at it. I know there are other ways, but for me that, that makes sense. It seems simple. So today I want to talk about adding one more thing to that. We've got the pentatonic scale, which is most of the notes in the major scale, pretty much all of them except for the fourth and the seventh. Uh, you can also use the chromatic connections. You might a chromatic scale, that's all half steps. You can connect from one chord tone to the next chromatically, and that works within what you're doing. Just for an example, in, in F, the chord tones are F, A, and C. But you can go to them, or to one from, from one to the next, chromatically. You can use those half steps. So let's play uh, a little bit. Uh, I have my wonderful accompanying uh, device here, my computer. Uh, I'll play the melody and then I'll improvise a chorus and make use of the pentatonic scale and chromatics. So you want to listen carefully. Here we go. Four bar intro. One. Thank you. 
uh, I will play some uh, a couple of choruses of banjo accompaniment for you so that you can try that. Uh, you might want to listen to what I played. There were places where I was just playing chord tones. Uh, in other places, you can hear the chromatic sound of it, just going by half steps. So let's, uh, let's try you playing a few choruses, and I'll accompany you. This is an intro. Okay, we uh, talked a lot today, a little bit of catch up on what we've done before. The thing I want you to take away from today is that you can use the half steps that are between the chord tones to get from one to the next. And you can do it either going up or coming down. So practice that, uh, play along, and don't forget uh, to check down below to see uh, what other links are available that are helpful to you, to other lessons, to videos. There's lots of information available on the lesson bank, and you can find it linked below what you're seeing here now. All right, that's it for today. One more in this series coming up. We're going to talk about blue notes next time. So be uh, watching for that, and I thank you very much. Keep practicing.